What up, this is Rama Screen covering movies, TV, and entertainment, and here's my review of Netflix's new movie, America, the Motion Picture. Hey, before you watch my review, please subscribe to my channel, press that like button, ring that bell, so you can get notified whenever I post new videos. And if you would like to help support this channel, please do so at patreon.com slash ramascreen. That's patreon.com slash ramascreen. Let's rock this. Oh my god, America the motion picture is bonkers and stupid and crazy and ingenious and asinine and hilarious. I don't know whether to shake their hand or smack them in the back of their head. Not since Team America World Police did another satirical irreverent comedy managed to also make fun of criticize and glorify this country all at the same time without breaking a sweat. Trust me, this movie cracks me up. And they are so brilliant with their pop culture parodies, including the stuff that I grew up on in the 90s, such as The Renegade Show. I feel like I'm the only one in the room who understood that reference. Written by Dave Callahan and directed by Matt Thompson, in this wildly tongue-in-cheek animated revisionist history, a chainsaw-wielding George Washington assembles a team of rabble-rousers including beer-loving bro Sam Adams, famed scientist Thomas Edison, acclaimed horseman Paul Revere, and a very angry Geronimo to defeat Benedict Arnold and King James in the American Revolution. Who will win? No one knows, but you can be sure of one thing. These are not your founding fathers of uh, fathers. Voice starring Channing Tatum, Jason Manzukas, Olivia Munn, Bobby Monihan, Judy Greer, Will Forte, Simon Pegg, and Andy Samberg. Gathering and crisscrossing many historical figures in the same timeline is a messy business, but one that America the motion picture gladly delivers. What you need to understand is that while the jokes are not always consistently funny, it does have everything for everybody. So when that one particular punchline hits you in the gut, it hits you real hard, you'd be rolling on the floor. I don't know what kind of drugs Dave Callahan took when he wrote this screenplay, but it must have been a hell of a trip because he probably had a lot of time beforehand thinking about all of the things that make this country both messed up and awesome. And it doesn't take sides either. It mocks right-wingers who drink the American exceptionalism Kool-Aid and liberals who get easily triggered or outraged. At the heart of it, is the alternate adult-centric adventure of how George Washington, inspired by Abraham Lincoln, puts together a ragtag team to kick Benedict Arnold in the balls. I can just imagine somewhere South Park creators Trey Parker and Matt Stone are going, we're not worthy, we're not worthy. If you notice that the animation quality looks similar to Archer series, well, that's because it does. It's made by the same animation studio, Floyd County Productions. It's got that comic strip hand-drawn style to it, which complements the film's characters' exaggerations. Terrific voice cast as well. And they all sound like they're just having a blast busting each other's chops from start to finish. No holds barred, anything goes, unapologetic, this movie is wacky to the bone. And the fact that something like America the motion picture is allowed to exist is the very definition of freedom. 